Hey guys and welcome to my channel. Today we will be using this Clairefontaine, Fontaine watercolor paper, 100% cotton, cold pressed, 300 GSM or 140 pounds, 18 by 24 centimeters or 7 by 9 and a half inches. And I will place the, it is a block of paper and I will place on the borders this washi tape because I do want to be left with white borders when I finished. After that, I'm going to draw, just use a regular pencil and draw the horizon line because I do want to know where the pine trees are ending and the reflection is starting. So next thing I'm doing is preventing the part of the paper that is actually the water because I do want my paint to bleed into that. When I paint my pine trees, you will see later on the paint, the paint, the water will be drying. So I will have to add a little bit more of the water down. So don't worry about that. If your water also dries, just use a brush and add it a little bit more so the paint can bleed downwards. And I'm using this lighter, well, I guess yellow, it's not yellow, it's something like ochre color and a brown color to paint in the pine trees and I'm painting them quite simply and just stopping in with the tip of my brush and not trying to make it symmetrical because, you know, I do want one side to be different than the other side. So I'm just painting the branches as it goes, as I feel like it and then adding the a little bit more of the paint down in the reflection. And that is how I will basically paint all my pine trees, except for the couple ones that I'm going to paint just partially, making them look the, as though they are a little bit further in the background. So, but we'll get to that. So I'm using a larger brush and a little bit smaller brush to add some details on top of it, because I do want some shadows and some texture difference in my pine trees. So I am painting a top upper part of the pine trees a little bit lighter and lower part a little bit darker with that darker brown. And then if I'm not satisfied with how my paint bled, I'm just adding it a little bit more downwards. You can see I'm also tapping my block of paper onto the desk. And now I've just really noticed that I did actually wanted to paint the sky. So well, it was too light for me, so I've added into the sky a little bit of that grayish color mixed in some brown and blue, and then added also a little bit of that yellow color that I am using to paint pine trees to make the background for my pines. Because, you know, it does look a little bit more better, and right now you could have seen I've painted that part of the pine trees the one that I want to look as though it is in background. And this is just, I just wanted to show you that maybe it will be easier for you if you use some cup or whatever you have to place your board or your paper onto it to tilt it slightly because it will help your pigment and your paint to bleed into the water. And I'm not doing that because, because of the angle and it would be a little bit harder for you to see what I'm doing, what I'm painting. So I did place it onto a table, but you can definitely place it tilt it and it will help your paint bleed slightly downwards and now that I finished with my pine trees I'm adding a little bit more of that darker brown just on the edge where my horizon line is just on the edge and letting it also bleed slightly downwards When I finished with that, I just left those pine trees to dry completely and then with a script brush, very, very thin pointy tip, I am adding some lines for tree trunks and I do believe it would, it would look a little bit more believable and I'm not painting the entire tree trunk, just adding those lines here and there, looking as though some trunks are peeking here and there between the branches. And also using a white to add a little bit more of the highlights to paint in also a couple of lines with white and I think it will look better and well, it will give also some highlights to those pine trees. And again, when finished with that and when the paint dried completely, 
I am painting these little birdies and I'm using a detail brush to paint them very very simply you can see right now I'm just using a tip of my brush to paint in the wings pressing it slightly harder to paint in the body and again press tip, picking it up to paint the other wing and as you can see I'm not painting any particular details to the birds just impression of them and then now that I made sure that this is definitely completely dry I'm adding a little bit of darker color just beneath the horizon line and I'm not trying to make that line straight I'm painting it quite weakly also going upwards and then with just a brush with clean water smudging it slightly downwards and now I'm gonna use this flat brush this is a smaller flat brush I think it's not number 12 and I rinsed it very well into the water I do want it to be quite wet and then dry it onto my towel and picked up a little bit of the paint mimicking some highlights in the water and also those shadows so for the shadows I am using that again quite light brown and with that I'll be finishing off this painting quite simple and easy as you can see and of course this video thank you guys a lot for watching if you do like this video please hit the like button share it comment and if you haven't still well what are you waiting for subscribe to my channel now right now press that subscribe button and if you want to go even a step further join my channel press that join button next to the subscribe button listen to the offer and decide whether or not you want to join and again guys thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll see you next time. Bye!